of the things I heard you say was you were talking about sponsors. And um, for a band that's doing like regional touring and East Coast touring, I mean, I think that's that is super important. Do you have any advice for, for some of us who might be trying to break in on ground level with a sponsor and trying to find something? Yeah, look, at, I mean, there's a lot of the energy drinks, to be honest. I mean, I always go like, say, where the money's at, you know, or somewhere to support you. I know that, you know, the, well, there's the Yeager Rock program that's very supportive of artists. There's Monster, we'll help you get trailers and vans. Uh, uh, Rockstar Energy Drink, uh, we'll do that. Look at, look around and rent or maybe create that thing. Like say, hey, we're touring in here. You know what, just help us with a, like, a little bit of gas money. We'll promote what you need, you know, wrap our van or do something like that. And, but, but follow through. You know, and that's the key in music. It's like you build those relationships and you follow through. Uh, you know, observe like marketing programs. I look, I still drive down the road, and it's weird because I look at every billboard and I start writing notes down things, and then I email people because I do. We do all our own partnerships and branding. I never thought that that this was my life. You know, it's as much music, but it's as much understanding culture. And we contact those guys, and it's cold calling and. It's like all of a sudden you become that brand, you become a Jaeger rock band. Jaeger all of a sudden, you, you start being an ambassador for them, and I don't know your total music, so if it fits there. But you look at the brands, I mean, Jack Daniels has, a lot of the alcohol brands have, and if you play for an over 21 crowd, it meets up pretty cool. Uh, but you know, the energy, and, and then you, you know, it takes, it's weird because if you're in a band and you're driving down the road, one of the coolest things going on right now is companies being developed by artists out of the van. Because they're all sitting there going, we don't make as much on our records, we don't do this. And I'm starting to sit with artists and invest in their brands. And there's a company called, any of you guys heard of Band Happy yet? All right, Band Happy was developed by the drummer of Periphery. He was sitting there and he's not going, I'm not making money on records. I, you know, just not making it, I'm on the road all the time. And so he started giving drum lessons outside the clubs every day. He started booking them online. And now he's developing this whole company where he's doing them online, where other artists are signing up, they can all model, you know, jobs. So it's your job each day to kind of look at it and go, this is what we live, what we wear, you know, it's maybe we can help be their ambassadors. And it'll be small things at first, but if you write the right song sometimes, you can all of a sudden become an ad campaign or something for them. And, and that's how it's going because music licensing is a huge market right now. Um, everyone's out there and there's a million people that I used to know who worked in the music business who are now trying to place music and movies and things independently. And they have to go negotiate. You know, Steve-O no, understands the benefit of having a song in, you know, Dawson's Place or some of those shows. But sometimes it's not up to him. It's up to the publisher. And you call the publisher for that song on a major label, and they're like, this is how much it costs. And they're like, well, we don't have this thing, we don't care, they're just trying to make their money. And there's a lot of musicians out there that have access to get in these catalogs now. So they'll, you know, not to use, just use Paramore, but they'll say, oh, we want a band that sounds like Paramore. And if you guys are close enough, if there's artists out there, and you're in this catalog, you may start being able to place music. So if you could all of a sudden find a brand and start writing songs for them, there's bands I know that are making more money doing that than touring them. But he started a company called Band Happy right now, and it's growing very quickly, and he's hit a roadblock. So I'm kind of helping him, guide him through this roadblock of getting artists while they're on the road, giving you know lessons while they're on tour, but when they're home, being able to give them online. And it was created by a musician. It wasn't created by CAA or William Morris or a record label or, or even in Silicon Valley. It was actually created by an artist, which is pretty cool. So I think that's what's But once you get that sponsorship, do what you need to promise. Because that's what gets you in trouble. The day you don't pass out the flyer, don't give out the stick, whatever you're supposed to do.